All right, moving on to a shocking story that uh, TMZ Sports broke uh, late Tuesday night. Atlanta Falcons star defensive end Tack McKinley. This guy was a first-round pick in 2017 at UCLA. He was a solid defensive end. His uh, rookie season, he posted 20 tackles and six sacks and uh, was having a promising 2018 as well. Looks to be a guy who could be a force to be reckoned with in the future. Fortunately, there was an incident in Los Angeles yesterday where he was detained by police after a friend called concerned about his well-being. Yeah, there was uh, some bizarre behavior going on at a hotel uh, in the L.A. area, and uh, police came there. They ended up taking him into custody for mental evaluation. Right. So, uh, you know, it, it sounds like people around Tack are concerned right. about something that's going on him with his mental health. Yeah, we're told he was exhibiting some bizarre behavior, and a friend finally was like, you know what, uh, he's a big, strong guy. Tack, Tack McKinley is a, is a big, powerful dude, and if he's acting erratic, I think the friend did the right thing. Someone's, yeah, someone could get hurt. I mean, that's obviously, right. they're concerned about Tack hurting himself, but even if he didn't intend to, at that size, yeah. if you're acting erratically, people around you could get hurt. I think his friends made the right call, uh, and, you know, now the Falcons have to make the call on how they deal with this going right. forward. We're told, by the way, that uh, Tack was cooperative with police. He's not, he wasn't accused of a crime, not charged with a crime, was not arrested. Detained is different. That they take him for, uh, you know, a, a mental evaluation, and he agreed to do that because he realized that it was in his best interest as well. The Falcons have put out a statement. The uh, head coach, Dan Quinn, said, quote, we were recently made aware of the situation involving Tack in L.A. Anytime a situation occurs that is or could be related to mental health issues, we take it very seriously. We will do everything we possibly can to support and assist Tack as our players' mental and physical well-being are always our top priority. So I feel like the Falcons are handling this in the best way that they can. Falcons handling it the best way they can, and kudos again to his friends, man, yeah. because especially when you have a friend who is in the NFL, who is, uh, you know, he's not a superstar in the NFL, but this is a guy who's got a very promising career yep. ahead of him. It's really hard for people around them to not be yes people and just sort of look the other way and say, we're going to let this go. Kudos to them for actually stepping up and uh, getting, helping him get some help. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.